The next thing we're going to consider is the reciprocal function. The reciprocal function is given by this notation here, y equals 1 divided by f of x. Okay, so I've got a function here, y equals f of x. I haven't shown you the picture yet, but I've given you a table of values. So I'm telling you when x is negative 2 on this graph, the y value is 7. And when x is minus 1, y is 2, 0, 1. When x is 1, y is a half. When x is 2, y is negative 3. So we have a table of values here for, um, for this function. All that reciprocal means, okay, this is what reciprocal means, we take the existing function and we take a look at its y values, we leave all the x values the same, we take a look at the y values and the new y values will become 1 divided by the old y values. So let me show you what the table of values would look like for this. Same x values. But here's what the new y values would equal. The new y values equal 1 divided by the old y values. So that on this graph, this y value would now be 1 7th. This y value would now be 1 half. This y value would be, well, 1 divided by 1 is 1. And this y value, 1 divided by a, a half is 2. And here we have 1 divided by negative 3 or negative one-third. Okay, so for reciprocal functions, what we're going to do is we're going to take the y values of the existing graph and we're going to divide them, um, take one and divide it by those values. Another way of looking at it is you can take the reciprocal, just take the reciprocal of the y values, that's why it's called a reciprocal function. So instead of seven, it's one over seven. Two, one over two. The reciprocal of one is just one. The reciprocal of a half is 2, or 2 over 1, and the reciprocal of negative 3 would be negative 1 third. So the reciprocal function means all y values will be flipped around, or we'll take the reciprocal. Look, look at how we would graph these things. Okay, here's a, black, a graph in black, we'll call y equals f of x. And what we're asked to do now is graph the reciprocal, y equals 1 over f of x. Remember we said the reciprocal means we take the y values and we flip them around or take their reciprocal. The y value here is 3. So this new y value is going to be not 3, but 1 third. So this point right here, I need to plot at 1 third, which is not very big. This y value was at 2. Okay, at 2. So the new y value will be 1 over 2, or 1 half. Put a point at 1 half. This y value was 1. 1 divided by 1, or the reciprocal of 1, is still 1. So my curve looks to be doing something like this. Now, here's a y value of about a half, right? You can see we're at a y value here of about a half. The reciprocal of 1 half would be 2. So this point has moved from being 1 half up here to 2. And you can imagine down here there's like a y value of 1 fifth. Well, 1 fifth, this y value of 1 fifth down here, flipped around would be 5, which is, wow, off my scale, way up here somewhere. Okay, so this thing is going, going up. And you can imagine there being a 1 tenth, which would be 10 when you flip it around. Let's look at this. Here's a y value of 0. What's 1 divided by 0? We can't do that. Okay, we can't divide by 0. So, what we're going to have here, we, we put a little dash line up here, is what's called an asymptote. Okay, an asymptote, as you remember, is a line that your graph gets closer and closer to, but never touches. So this graph is curving up here, and it's going to keep going up, and up and up. But it'll never touch that line. That's an asymptote. And then we can carry on. You can imagine down here, now our y values have become negative. So you can imagine there's like a y value here of negative one-fifth. Take negative one-fifth, flip it around, negative five. Again, that would be somewhere way down here. Here's a y value of negative a half. 
Negative a half flipped around, negative two. Here's a y value of negative one. One divided by negative one, or the reciprocal of one is still one. Keep carrying on. Y value of negative two, flip it around, negative a half. Y value of negative one, flipped around, is still negative one. Here's some small y values again. Y value of a half here. Okay. One half flipped around is back at negative two. You can imagine a y value here of one, negative one fifth. Flip that around is negative five. Okay, this is going down again. Every time we have an x-intercept, there'll be another asymptote, because we can never divide by zero. Y value of zero, one divided by zero, not going to work. Okay. Moving over here, Y value of a half, one half flipped around would be at two. Okay. There would be a Y value here of about a fifth. One fifth would be up way up here at five. Okay. Y value of one, reciprocal of one is still one. And finally a y value of two, reciprocal of that one is one half. Okay, so our graph would look something like this. We would have it curving up here, we'd have a curve down here, and we'd have curve going up here forever and ending right here because our graph ends there. Okay, so when we're graphing these things, it's not a bad idea when you're starting to just look at all the x-intercepts and put these dashed uh, asymptotes in, these, these vertical asymptotes. And then, start from the left point in your graph, take your y values, flip them around, and start replotting them and you'll end up with some, some curves like so. We'll look at one more example. To sketch the graph of 1 divided by f of x, you must take the reciprocal of the y values and replot them. Remember that every x-intercept of the original function will become a vertical asymptote on the reciprocal graph 1 divided by f of x. Okay, here's another function, y equals f of x. We are asked to graph y equals 1 over f of x the reciprocal. Now I'm going to start by drawing my vertical asymptotes on those x-intercepts. So every x-intercept will be a vertical asymptote. And now I'm going to start from the left. y value of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, y value of 4 will become 1 quarter. y value of 3 will become a third y value of 2 comes down here to a half. y value of 1 will stay there at 1. y value of a half will come up to 2. And you should eventually know what's going to happen here. We've got an asymptote, so this is going to come up right along the edge of it. Now we're down here at negative, say negative a fifth, which flipped around is negative 5. So there's an asymptote, it's going to come along here. Here's a y value of negative a half, flip that around, negative 2. Here's a y value of negative 1, reciprocal of negative 1 is still negative 1. Here's a y value of negative 2, negative 2 will move to negative a half, y value of 3 moves to negative a third. Y value of negative 2 flipped around is oops, negative a half. Here's a y value of negative 1. Here's a y value of negative a half. Negative a half flipped negative 2. Again, here's an asymptote, so curving down towards that asymptote. Now our graph jumps to the positive, positive y values. Here's a y value of a fifth. Flip that around is positive five. Here's the y value is, is a half. That's going to move up here to two. Y value here of one. 
1 divided by 1 is 1. Y value here of 2 down to a half. Finally, a y value here of 3, which will be down to about a third. If your graph ends at this point right here and doesn't carry on, then you need to make sure that your graph also ends where that graph ends. Okay, so just remember when a graph reciprocals, put in your vertical asymptotes at the x-intercepts. Again, start on the left side of the graph, look at the y-values, flip them around, plot them again, and then connect your dots.